It is human nature to pray to God for the blessings we desire in our lives. Sometimes God blesses us so abundantly that we react with shock rather than happiness. Now that is what happened to a 31-year-old mother who was blessed with quadruplets just before Christmas. Here's Lofty Matambo with the story of Sarah Wangari. Here is a confirmation of the doctor's report given 10 months ago to Sarah, aged 31, and her husband James, that they were expecting triplets. Anxiety that engulfed her husband in equal measures as they already had a five-year-old boy. Quincy Gitaka. Kwa 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 sasa yu reporti nilipata kena ikuwa baraka kwangu, nikaona it's a history in my family. However, on the day of delivery, it was a double shocker to this young family. Sabe, ni walitua wakaona kwa hili ni mtoto na ametoka mingine wakakua waine sasa. Hapo ndiyo nilijua walikua waine. Lakini sasa wenye alitua huyo ni kachanga, ni kaseme, na kitua mingine watano. So, nilishikuwa na waziwasi, nika uofa tena, sasa nika una kwa ni wataendelea tu kutoka. Sasa, haka niambia, unambua ni four, one, two, three, four boys. Mi nika istuka kwa gari, mbaka watu wakaangalia, wakashanga, wakashundua, mbona uwa naoneka na medua hivi. James, who is 36 and a small-scale businessman in Nairobi City, is confessing to challenges in embracing their bundle of joy. Mpangu wangu, ulikuwa ni mpangu wakuwa na ile familia mungu wangetaka, lakini ya mpango. Ya wakuja, sasa kulinga na akili zangu vionye mili kwa najua mpango wa second, second born, tukakai kidogo, alafu kuje third, mbaka pali pali ya mungu wataona ya kwamba ametubariki ya kutosha kulinga na mapenzi yake. Sasa unajua hiyo, katika hiyo hali mtu wanga najua ya wapili ya naingia, watatu wa naingia, sasa unakuja kwa umejipanga, unaongeza sukari kiasi, chumvi kiasi, hivu. hii maziwa ya nani, mkebwe mmoja unatoka katika, katika madukani, unatoka elifu moja, miambili, na... Hamsini. Na uh, hawa wanatumia mkebe mmoja, wanatumia siku ngapi? Siku, siku mbili. Meaning, in one month, it costs a whopping 37,000 Kenya shillings to care for the newborn boys. Doctors across the field insist on exclusive breastfeeding for at least the first six months. But because the mother has no milk, they will have spent Kenya shillings 225,000 on milk alone. <laughs> Sasa aonea kwamba naweza shikilia katika hela yake, maombi, ako karibu kabisa. Adapted? Na mtu? Ai, wacha, wacha tu ni, ni fena ee. <laughs> this family belongs to the Messiah Knights denomination of Christianity. They do not practice modern family planning. James is ready for more blessings, though with mixed feelings. Kulingana na, 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 na injili yaku, umesema kwamba, wa kwamba wendi upeana. Quincy's happiness is vivid, just like for the many relatives and fellow church members who frequent James' home to welcome the blessings, especially during this festive season. Mtoto wa kwanza anaitua Quincy Gitaka. Wapili nae anaitua Vigida Gishoke. Watatu nae anaitua Ariel. Ariel, Ariel Kereba. Wane nae anaitua Johanan. Anaitua Yohanan, Yohanan uh, Kipudhu, ama Kibudhu. Haya, wa, 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 watano, diwa sasa wa mwisho yule mdogo, anayendi anaitua Benyamin, Benyamin Mwangi. It is that season where many people are expecting blessings to come knocking at their doorsteps. But how prepared are you in expecting and receiving these blessings? As for James and his family, challenges are there. Lofty Matambo, KTN News.